Well, hey, it's good news. It's Keith Lemon, the movie. It's at number five. Well, all that happened was I came back and there was a load of movies I hadn't seen. And I said on Twitter, you know, which one should I go see? Everyone went, oh, go see Keith Lemon, the movie. And what they all, what everyone seemed to say was, go see Keith Lemon, the movie. It's terrible, and it, but it'll be funny because you'll go and see it and that'll be funny. Well, it, it, it wasn't and it isn't. And incidentally, you joined in on this in a kind of playground bullying sort of way. No, I just said it's I what said, you do. You're a film critic. Go, yeah. go okay, crit- you go said, I said, films. do I have to go and see it? And you said, yes, you do. And your words were, you, that's your job. I play records, you see movies. To which I replied, yes, but you don't play all records. In fact, have you ever played a record by Keith? What's the guy who plays Keith Lemon called? Do the review. Tell no, us no, but this time. is the review. The review is this. I went to Eastleigh to see Keith Lemon. I've not, I've not seen the television programme. So right from the very, very beginning, there's a part of me which thinks, well, is it fair anyway? Because I'm not, you know, I'm, I don't know the television programme. I'm not familiar with it. I, so all the, the running gags, I don't get. Sitting there watching it and feeling my life force eking away. The things I can tell you definitively, there were six people in the audience, uh, maybe seven. I think one of them went and didn't come back. Uh, there was almost no laughter during the whole of the film. The story is the Keith Lemon character has a mo- invents a mobile phone with a lemon on it. We do have a... Well, I'll tell you what, we have a clip. We oh, asked good, the film... No, good. it's not good. But here's the clip. We'll play you the clip. This is the only clip we could play you. Here we go. Well, what do you got to work with? No. <sighs> Apart from this high-tech phone where the buttons are being replaced with no buttons. But the fellow that gave it to me couldn't even give it away. Apart from the one he gave to me, he gave them all to me. I got it. What? What if we remarket the phone with a new identity? What do you mean? Put your name to it. You said you always wanted to be a household name. I do. Hopefully they'll buy it and you'll make enough money to pay Terrible Tony. Do you mean Evil Steve? Exactly. Problem solved. Yeah, Ruski. More importantly, though, do you think we'll have enough money to pay for a enlargement for myself? I mean, what? Well, I mean, that's terribly irritating. No, that's yeah. That's uh, how much of that did you listen to? I'm long that check clip is about forty. To, about about forty two seconds long. Exactly, it's about forty two seconds. Never was. So I so I so I sat there and at one point in the cinema, I dropped this five penny piece which I brought in. I dropped it down the side of the chair, yeah. right? And I put my hand down the side of the chair to try and get it back because I'm you know mean. And as you put your hand down the side of the chair, there's obviously there's all manner of filth and scrunge and you know putrescence and stuff that's been dropped down the side of the chair by everyone else because it's impossible. And you kind of stick your fingers into it. You go, oh, oh, god, that's disgust. Oh, that's really horrible. But then I realised that it was less horrible than watching the screen. So I spent a good. 15, 20, 25 minutes rootling round, getting all manner of, you know, really foul filth under my fingernails in an attempt to retrieve this five penny piece because it was less revolting than watching the screen. Now, obviously, there, there's, there's a great tradition in Britain of comedy shows making awful movies, you know, Holiday on the Buses, Are You Being Served, the movie when they go abroad, Porridge, the movie, League of Gentlemen, the movie, which was, you know, all over the place, Ali G, the movie. This is worse than Ali G, the movie, which is really saying something. Kevin and Perry go largest citizen campaign in comparison with it. But what I was aware of all the way through is, OK, maybe, maybe it is that there is a target audience that I'm not part of, but... Here's the thing. If you found any of the unbelievably puerile gags funny, then you'd be like, you know, 13 tops, right? The film's got 15 certificates. So it, the film has a certificate which prevents anybody who would find it from fu- find it funny going to see it. The other thing which is really bizarre, and I'm, I promise you I'm not making this up, everyone who tweeted me on Twitter, and loads of people did, went, it's terrible, go see it. It's terrible, go, go and see it, because you'll, either you'll save us from seeing it. Because, but the decision was made, it's terrible. And even the people that saw it, no, it's terrible. So here's my chat. I thought it was the least fun I've had in a cinema. And I actually came out feeling like I wanted a bathing Clorox. Is know? it better than Sex Lies of the Potato? Ah, no, this is, the, this, was the, this is where I got to. It's not as hateful as Sex Lives of the Potato Men, which is, I think, a hateful film. It's also, it's a cast, it's a, it's a guest list. You know, I mean, there's all these cameos. There's Chris Moyles, Jed Wood, Peter Andre, Kelly, Brooke, Philip, Sch- Philip Schofield, Philip Schofield, Fern Cotton, David Hasselhoff, Hollywood, Philip Schofield, Philip Schofield. Philip that Schofield. Was, yeah, when Philip Schofield was there, I did turn up, I actually, I did feel that parental thing about, I'm not angry, I am just really, dis- I'm really disappointed. And I kept, all you could think was, 
I, I it, it genuinely do not understand. Do not understand. It, it's not as hateful as Sex Lives of the Potato Men. It is as awful as Sex Lives of the Potato Men. It's one of those films which, in the past, had the UK Film Council been involved in it, everybody would have said this is the reason for shutting down the UK Film Council. But I, I want to ask this genuinely. Genuinely, genuinely, genuinely. Is there anyone out there, anyone at all, who did go to see it and found it funny because so far of the hundreds and I mean hundreds of people who've been you know sending me messages about it on Twitter I don't have one from anyone who has a good word to say about it maybe it's an age thing so everyone who follows you on Twitter is a particular well that's entirely possible it may be that I appeal only to the over 50 demographics that's perfectly fine but as I was saying the problem is if you were puerile enough to enjoy the film then you're not old enough to get into it to get physically get into the cinema it has a restrictive certificate that will not allow you into the cinema it's like it, so so consequently but it's at number five in the box office here's what i think i genuinely think that it's number five in the box office and everyone who went to see it thought it was rubbish and i think it's living proof of that argument that just because people pay to see a film didn't mean that doesn't mean they enjoy it just because a bunch of people went to see a film doesn't mean they like it if you want to know whether they like it charge them on the way out i honestly Literally rootling around for a five penny piece in, you know, four years of fungal growth down the side of a cinema seat was more entertaining than turning to watch the screen and just having to. Su- and, you know, there we go. I'm, I'm, I'm not I'm not cross. You're just very disappointed. No, I'm not even disappointed, well, except with Philip Schofield. If I see Philip Schofield, who I don't know, but if I do, I will have to remonstrate with him. Because I like Philip Schofield. Philip, if you're listening, you can... Uh, you know say, Philip Schofield, right? Yeah, you can, can tell him off for me. Well, I haven't seen him for 20 years. So. And, and that's what happens. He ends up in the Keith Lemon movie. Yeah, he wouldn't have done that if he was still in the cupboard with Gordon the Gopher, would he? No.